first thing that comes to mind is very few people can get into that kind of shape. <laughs> you and I are probably the only two on the planet. <laughs> well, we're pretty much the same build, same height. How tall are you? About 6'4 and a little bit, maybe 6'6 six, six if I got stuff in the hair. All right, uh, so you're a little bit taller than I am. Okay, but you, a man, you got an amazing shape for that. And I'm just questioning, first of all, no CGI there or anything, right? That's all you. That's you. Yes. Okay. That's me. What is in? First of all, that, I find that depressing. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping that was a computer program. <laughs> yeah. Because then I could tell my wife that can't be done. Uh, but uh, yeah, you got an amazing shape. Uh, what is? What was required for you to do that? It was about nine months of um, chicken breast and broccoli, and training. Training. Weight, weight lifting and yeah, that kind of stuff. So just training constantly eating just chicken breast, broccoli, and that is it. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, we had a really good chef who tried. He's, he was a real artist, and he really tried to make it interesting and with herbs and lemon juice. No, it doesn't work. Stuff like, no. But he, the thing is, his hands were tired because he couldn't use cream. He couldn't use any sugar. Right. None of that. No, like, fast carbs, no pasta, no bread. What I can't like stand so, is when a healthy chef says, you know, look, it's kind of like a pizza. Uh, except there's no bread or cheese or tomato. Right, but what was it's tough broccoli. <laughs> What's tough for him was he's not really a healthy chef. He's, a, he's an artist. He loves right. to cook. But the, my trainer was like, well, you can't use this. You can't use that. You can't use... So it was uh, quite tough for him. Okay, did you start to psychologically lose it? I would think... I mean, for how long did you well, have to... Well, because, yeah, it was... I, they gave me six meals a day, which... It's quite a lot, but the size of um, the portion was like this size. Yeah. So I was constantly hungry, and yeah. I had to eat, eat every three hours, which meant that I spent the entire day thinking about food. Yeah. So when I finished a meal, I would go, all right, two hours and 55 minutes of my next meal. Yeah. And then, like, the entire day would revolve around those meals, and I would just look forward to the next Now, was, are we talking a period of weeks? Are we talking, how long did this have to go on for? Uh, uh, nine months. Nine months! No, I would rather dig a right, ditch. Right, and then we wrapped the movie. <laughs> we wrapped the movie, and I fell off the wagon completely. And five months later, David Barron, our producer, called me and said, um, so we have this little scene we've added uh, in the end of the movie that we want to shoot in, th in four months. It's about a five-second scene, so can you go back on that diet for that scene? <laughs> so yeah. what'd you do? Well, in hindsight, I should have, because you saw the Mangani, the, the ape there. Um, that fella is CGI. So I thought, I went back on the diet and did another no, three, four months. No, that's not the for answer. For that one scene. No. I know, I know. That's when you say CGI, MFR. Yeah. Right, yeah. Because then I realized, well, if they CGI the elephants, the lions, the yes. Mangani, come on. I like, got another, another word for you. Body double. You know, I would get a body double, slap a wig on him, shoot him from another angle, and you're in the corner eating Haagen-Dazs with a spoon. Yes. <laughs> do it again! That's well, what I would do. So uh, would you be interested in doing that for me if we ever get to do another one? Or? I'll be your body double anytime. Thank I you. I think people would love it. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna love that scene in Tarzan where suddenly it's you and then suddenly Tarzan walks into a room and his body is like I've actually already freckled and gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I pitched that idea to Warner Brothers. I said, if, if we make another one, because uh, the legend of Tarzan begins 10 years after he left the jungle. Yes. So it opens in London, he's there with Jane. Yeah. Uh, and then he returns to the jungle. And so I, I figured, oh, well, if we make another one, it could be 10 years after we finish this. So maybe he's out of shape. Uh, That's a no, great he's movie. in a hammock yeah. the entire movie. Yeah. He's and it's overweight. He drinks pina colada. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I love that the apes are out of shape too. Yeah. It's just you and the apes sitting around. Chilling. <laughs> eating cheese popcorn yeah. and watching, yeah. Picking lice off each other. <laughs> That's a great idea for a movie. I would be a body. Will you double. go see that one? Yeah, they'll see that movie.